if you look really closely, now I'm gonna go over here. So if you look really closely on the inside here. Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jot State here. Back with another unboxing, and today, uh, I've got a triple decker for you, mate. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, we got three pair of kicks for you guys to look at, and these all three are from the good folks over at Nike. They are from the NBA All-Star Collection, and as most of you guys know, All-Star kicks haven't really been that big of a thing for a few years now, and this year, Nike is trying to add a little bit of energy back into it. They're releasing five pairs for their uh, signature athletes, so that's KD, Kyrie, PG, LeBron, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. I don't have PG's or Giannis' shoe here, but you should know that everything is releasing on the 7th except for Giannis' shoe. Giannis' shoe is not going to actually release until the 12th. Now, the point of this collection is to focus on sustainability. What I would have loved is if these shoes were actually made of sustainable materials, but that is not the case. Basically, what Nike Basketball is trying to do is tell a story of sustainability sustainability through color, not through the action materials or the tech or anything like that that's used on these shoes in particular. So without further ado, we're gonna go in order of, I guess the smallest box to the biggest box. And the smallest box in this situation is Kevin Durant. I don't know if I've seen box, uh, cause this one is really nice. I have the reflective material there, I have his name, number seven. Uh, I have a signature there, but let's take a look here and there. You go. Okay, all right, so this is a little different. Uh, I like the reflective pieces that they have going on here. Very nice, let's get both of these out of the box. So for most of you guys know, All Star was supposed to be somewhere else this year, but it's actually ended up being in the ATL shouting. So uh, that's where it is this year. And these shoes already are kind of highlighting that with the All Star Weekend right there on the toe, which is a nice, touch. Now these have a very unique look that is for sure. I actually really love the speckles here in the midsole. They're kind of subtle but they also pop if they hit the light in just the right way which kind of leads to the story behind his shoe. The focus of his story is sustainable energy. So sustainability is there and you can see a little bit of that if you look right there on the heel. You see it has the KD and then it has the lightning bolt, kind of reinforcing that story of sustainability and clean renewable energy. And you also see it on the tongue, where if you get a really close look at the tongue here, you can see that it's a basketball, but it's circular, as in sustainability and keeping the world going. And so I love, I love the thought of sustainability. I, I do wish they would have made materials and made the shoes out of sustainable materials to tell that story. The look of these is definitely different. Uh, they have a bunch of different colors here in the collar. And this collar kind of reminds me of the colors that they use on the Cosmic Unity, how they had that reused material on the Cosmic Unity. I don't think that same material is happening here on this shoe, but you had hints of that here for those that remember that shoe which just came out a little while ago. And obviously, clean, renewable energy makes you think of lightning, thinks you th makes you think of electricity, and that's where you get the silver and the pops of color there. Um, and then the silver hits, all that kind of hops into this colorway and it kind of brings that whole story together. As always, love the KD9, especially now that they have the Zoom airbag that is on the insole. It's next level. So if you've never tried it, if you've never tried a shoe that has the Zoom insole or has the Zoom strobel technically as they call it, you're missing out. Definitely give it a try. It'll change the way you feel about sneakers and what should be happening inside of most sneakers, at least in my opinion. Uh, and a good way to try that is on the Zoom Comfort if you've never tried the Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort because they have those struggle boards there. Uh, so yeah, just want to give you guys a quick look at Katie's shoes and it's all about renewable energy. So that's where his focus comes in when it comes to sustainability. Let's hop into Kyrie. And Coming to Kyrie, uh, his focus on sustainability is a little different. It's not about renewable energy. He's focused more on the plants, which uh, I kind of feel like is the exact thing I would think about when it comes to Kyrie. Kyrie is on a plant-based diet, and that's where the inspiration for these sneakers come from. So let's take a closer look here. Uh, these are bright. What is this, uh, like, uh, what's the orange called? Atomic orange. I'm gonna go with turquoise or maybe a mint green, and then you have a little bit of pink there. Uh, for those that haven't tried these yet, uh, these are really 
good basketball shoes and they're at a really great price point. I think they're 125 bucks. Something that I was really excited about when Kyrie's came out is the graphics that they were gonna be able to do on the inside beneath the netting that's on the top. And for this one, keeping that sustainability story alive, they're using like plant-based graphics that you can see here on the on the liner on the inside. It's a pretty cool concept considering Kyrie is on a plant-based diet. So to bring that full circle and like bring his life into his sneaker uh, and the, in his sustainable life, I should say, into his sneaker, I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, you have the sprouting Kyrie there on the heel, which is like, I mean, when you think plant-based, that, that totally nails it there. Is if you look on the Nike swoosh, it has the feel of the Nike grind. Uh, for those that don't know what Nike grind is, is they take old shoes and scrap parts and grind them all together and make new rubber. You see that, that's inside of the, uh, the Cosmic Unity. And you also see it on the Space Hippie where that grind is part of the outsole. I don't think this is actual grind that they're using in this material, but you see it in the print that they put on the eyelets there. You also see it kind of reflected there in the tongue in different colors. And then it also happens here on the Nike swoosh. And I believe this is just a regular plastic Nike swoosh. I don't believe that's grind because it's very hard and grind usually has a little uh, give to it. And I don't feel any give there on those. So yeah, just want to give you guys, again, a quick look at Kyrie's shoes. Let's drop to the King James and see what his shoes are talking about. All right. We've made it to the king, AKA King James, AKA LeBron, AKA Bron, Bron. Uh, I don't know what his other AKAs are. AKA 17 uh, time world champion, Los Angeles Laker player. So uh, LeBron is going with a totally different concept when it comes to sustainability. Um, and this one, I don't want to say one's more important than the other, but this one definitely makes a big difference. This one is all about the air and the actual color is blue tint, white, and clear. Uh, it's the, the, the cleanest of the colorways that are releasing. It almost kind of glows a little bit. It almost looks like ice, but the concept isn't actually ice. The concept is air. And interestingly enough, it comes with a pair of green laces, which is kind of throws it for a little bit of a loop. I was not expecting the green laces here. Um, I definitely think that's an interesting look. Check that out. That's an interesting addition. I don't know if I would put the green laces in there. I think I like the, the light blue with the colors. I don't know, but that's an option. That's an option for you. So LeBron's shoe is focused on clean air. Uh, obviously we all need clean air because we have to breathe and that leads to pollution and try to combat pollution. And so Nike is speaking for LeBron in this way with sustainability, which is air. You see it has the white battle knit upper, which looks really, really great. Has the TPU heel cage, has the LeBron logo back there. And again, they're mimicking that material that we saw on the Cosmic Unity, on the liner of the Cosmic Unity. Actually, I'm gonna go grab the Cosmic Unity so you guys can know exactly what I'm talking about. If you look really closely, now I'm gonna go over here. So if you look really closely on the inside here, inside of the black, you can see like that color, that like the different color material there. And that's the same thing that they're trying to do here. Now this obviously isn't the same material. This is actually foam on the inside. Can I get a better grip on the inside? Is there a better look at it inside? No. Well, you can't really see it on the inside, but you can see it right there. That's that's foam that they're using here on the inside of the shoe for padding. And they're recreating that experience or that look on this shoe, like right here on the panels on the tongue. You also see it on the back of the heel here where it's like recreating that same material. And basically what that is, is scrap material that they use to create new material to go inside of a shoe so that they don't have weights, which means they use less materials in a sense, making it more sustainable and getting rid of waste. So instead of sustainability, I say it's more of stopping, preventing waste that's gonna end up in landfills. They're using it and that way they're putting less into landfills, if that makes sense. Um, on the insoles here, let me try to pull one of these insoles out. You see it has 
the All Star Weekend logo that's re that has like the recyclable thing there, and then it has the Earth Nike logo, which is on the Cosmic Unity, um, which is again about being sustainable. And then at the bottom, you have LeBron's logo with the cloud, obviously speaking to the air, which is what this sneaker is inspired by. We have the earth. So technically, the, I don't know, I don't know, maybe this is the plants, not the earth, the plants. I don't know if the earth and the plants can be considered the same thing. I'm trying to go back to my Captain Planet days. Renewable energy, which can be everything from solar to atomic energy to wind power to water power, all of that here, all represented uh, in sneakers, which again, I think is pretty cool because it tells story about sustainability and something that we want to get out there and something that we want to talk about more is preserving the place that we live and being more cognizant of how we consume, what we consume and what those things and how those things impact the environment. Anyway, I know that's way deep for a sneaker unboxing. I get it, I get it and you probably want to click away, but we definitely got to take care of the earth. So I'm sorry, I have to let you guys know the truth about it. KD, Kyrie, LeBron, and PG go to go on sale on the 7th and they're the normal pricing. If not, I'll put all the pricing down in the description below. As always, I appreciate you. I'm Jacques Slade. Thank you for watching this all-star triple unboxing and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.